Hi. Thanks for tuning in to my official YouTube channel, Reverend Me Ling. Been known by a few names, Reverend Me Ling, Reverend Susan Me Ling, Susan Me Ling, Lady Me Ling, Lady Doorbell. <coughs> so I'm uh, going to a little bit of comedy, though this is stuff that actually occurred. I just make fun of it because I find it funny and I can't be the only one who finds it funny. Um, <laughs> so years ago, and when I say years ago, I mean when I was pregnant with my son, and I also did this when I was pregnant with my daughter. So those who have been pregnant <laughs> know that at a certain point in time, your mammary ducts develop colostrum. And I don't think I'm the only person who figured this out. <laughs> I might be the only person who openly discussed this as far back as 2000-ish. <laughs> well, I guess technically 2001. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really talk about it nearly as much until much later, but I, I did do this and I, so, okay. So after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, I had gone with my now dead ex-husband and one of his friends to a range out in San Antonio. And what does this have to do with being pregnant? I'll get to it. So... <laughs> When we went to the range, I tried shooting, because that's what you do at a range. Firing range, I should specify, right? So, <laughs> went to the firing range, and I, I didn't do very well. And I was very frustrated. And Terry had even lined up the shot when it came to a couple rifle shots, and I just, I, I, I just couldn't do it at all. And it was extremely frustrating, because even though I had only gone to the YMCA one time in reference to using a BB gun to shoot, I had gotten really good shots on my target. I got the center three rings and then with every BB and then only three did I hit outside of the target in the bottom right corner. Made a little triangle and you know, Granted, I didn't have a lot of firearm training background before my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. I remembered that. I remembered having that target being like, that's right. <laughs> and, and for the referencing of the BB gun thing, you know, at the YMCA, we were shown how to, you know, load the BBs and all that stuff and do the pumping thing and stuff like that. Th there is a pun in that reference to what I'm going to get to when I was pregnant after I did it. Anyway, I'll get to that. So <laughs> I found out that the more you pumped the BB gun, the, the, the more powerful the shot. It's like, ooh, what do you... Like, how, how many can I do? And it's like a different type of CPR, right? And so, anyway, by technique, it's kind of the same ish. I mean, you, you close your hands when doing CPR and pumping the chest, and you know, you got to hold on to the lever and you know, push down when strengthening the um. BB gun, technically, right? And so, <laughs> so I, I, I knew that I could hit my targets like very well. That was another reason when looking at joining the United States of America's Armed Forces Army branch. I was like, I want to go into the infantry or the cavalry or combat arms because I know what type of target I can hit. Like, I know, I'll get it. And, you know, I didn't have that much firearm training. I only had the BB gun aspect. But I knew. 
get some time on the rifle range, I'd be just straight through the center ring. That's it. Yeah, I'm only the little itty bitty center dot. I knew that if I could, however, I had my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. And that whole subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain and coma and headaches and migraines and memory deficits and cognitive disorders and went from college algebra with trigonometry and calculus to second grade math. So, you know, pfft. so at the firing range, <laughs> I hit the dirt really well. I did. Yeah, man, I messed that dirt up. <laughs> I didn't mess up that target, but I messed up that dirt. Oh, I made that dirt go poof. And, <laughs> you know, it was, it was a fairy-sized version of when I was in zero week at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. <laughs> Where this is an Abrams round from a tank. <laughs> but instead, it was just because I couldn't aim correctly, so. <laughs> but I messed up that dirt. I, I did. <laughs> I showed that dirt who's boss. <laughs> I was not aiming at the dirt. I was aiming at the target. Nonetheless, I showed that dirt. I did. <laughs> <laughs> that dirt around the, the firing range was screaming, No! <laughs> So, you know, I, I can laugh at that now. <clears throat> at that time, though, I was pissed. Oh, I was mad. Terry looked at me and he's like, why are you so... Because I know what I did. <laughs> what do you mean you know what you did? I know what I did. I know what I used to be able to do. And that is... I, 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 and I, well, I was mad. Oh, I was so mad. I'm still mad, but it is what it is. And so... <laughs> But I did. I messed up that dirt. And then I tried a few other times afterwards. And I was out in Oklahoma with my ex-brother-in-law now, but then my brother-in-law. And, you know, had they had the hail, the bale of hay. And, and again, I messed up that dirt. <laughs> that dirt in Oklahoma. Man, I messed that up. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I messed up the air. <laughs> And whatever tree branches nearby. That's what I messed up. I didn't hit that target, but I messed I sure showed those trees. <laughs> and I showed that dirt who's boss. <laughs> Not the target, but the dirt. I did. I did. I showed that dirt. I <laughs> I get a little bit of depth perception is a little off in that regard. I get it. I get it. So, uh, <laughs> I decided I should probably, you know, despite the fact that my now dead ex-husband was like, you should get a concealed handgun license. I can't hit anything except for the dirt. <laughs> I think it's important to be able to hit the target. <laughs> Don't you understand that there is like a team of 10 lawyers per bullet? I don't want to get a CHL <laughs> and then miss. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> there is a team of 10 lawyers per bullet. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. If I, I, I'll get a CHL when I'm ready, but mm -mm. Not before then. <laughs> no, 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 no. And I know that. And I knew that then. I know that now. <laughs> I was not about to. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. I also comprehended back then that you needed some certain stuff. So, you know. Anyway. <laughs> As a, as a little side note, I had read on, on Twitter, and I had made a little smart aleck remark. Um, 
the, I don't remember who it was who had tweeted a question, what type of firearm or what type of gun are you going to purchase? And I had said in, in my response, um, one that works <laughs> and shoots bullets because <laughs> what other type of firearm is there? Uh, I was, I'm, I was being, you know, I was being a little ornery. And, but realistically, you know, when, when you get a firearm, you want to make sure that it's going to shoot. <laughs> and, and, you know, that, that's a whole other ball of wax. Anyway, so, <clears throat> when I was pregnant with my son, as well as my daughter, because I had forgotten between, in reference to being pregnant with my son and being pregnant with my daughter in that time frame, about the colostrum. So one day I'm in the shower, and I'm cleaning and stuff like that, and, and colostrum came out. And I had read about it, but it was one of those... Well, that's weird. It's, it's a little early. <laughs> it's a little premature for that shot. And so, and <laughs> but I was intrigued because it was one of those, well, is it going to happen here? Too? Oh, and I was, I, I was like a child. <laughs> I could do what? And then, you know, then I saw the tiles in front of me because I was in the shower. It's like, ooh. Nobody was in the shower with me, but I felt the need to look like, hmm. Nobody. Hmm. Well. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. And so I practiced aiming, <laughs> practiced aiming my colostrum so I could get the T, <laughs> that cross point in the tile. And, and at first, and, and that was my, that was my target. I was like, I'm going to get it. All right. Let me, <laughs> let me, and, and, you know, I get, I get close to the tile T that I was looking for, <laughs> but I'd at least get the tile. Like, right off the bat, no problem getting it at the tile that I was looking at. But I wanted to make sure I could get that T. <laughs> wanted to get it between the crosshairs, you know? <laughs> I was just like, all right. Ah, just, just a little bit off. Okay, let me, let me readjust. <laughs> Hold on. Ready, aim. <laughs> oh. And then... <laughs> because... Can you tell I was a tomboy as a child? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> For me to figure that out, like that, that, that's kind of a tomboy thing. You know, now that I've written about it after speaking about it, that, that, that is what it is. But I just, mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> let me see which, this way, this way, which, you know, this angle, kind of like, which way can I... <laughs> angle this way, what happens? Like, can I make an arc? Can I, if I twist this way, does this happen? Oh, and, you know, it, because I'm very easily entertained, <laughs> it's one of those, okay. So then, then, I was like, ooh, I have an idea. So, when I got the idea, I was like, ooh, okay, I got to get it in the T a certain number of times. Like, I got to get specifically that, that specific piece of caulk right in that central point. Like, it cannot miss, it cannot go above, cannot go below, not sides, it has to be specifically in that T. <laughs> got to be at that center dot. Because a different type of sharpshooter. And so <laughs> when I would get it there, each time, it, ha it had to be consecutive. I had to get it consecutively. Then one day I was like, hey, Robert, you know, my now dead ex-husband, come here, I got something to show you. <laughs> 
come here. I want, I want to show you something. And so he popped his head in the shower and got him right between the eyes with colostrum. And it's like, yes, I dealt with some conversations. He was not as, as amused as I was <laughs> and still am. That's what it is. I found it so funny. It was, <laughs> it still is funny to me. But yeah, got him right between the eyes. It was like, yes, <laughs> score. <laughs> I am amazing. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it again. And so then, then, then there were, you know, I, I'd wait a few days. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I got something to show you. What? <laughs> got him. And, and I got, oh, I got good. Uh, I was a quick, I was, I was a quick draw. <laughs> I got it down <laughs> to where I, either side. I could use either side. And then I could do it with both and, 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 and just in between the, oh, it was a great shot. It was awesome. <laughs> he was not happy with me at all. I dealt with a lot of conversations because I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> because he'd get so mad because it was colostrum. And it's like really, really... I mean, I dealt with it, and not that I wanted to be beaten at all. I just thought it was funny that I could shoot him between the eyes with colostrum, which is a thicker version of breast milk, for those of you who don't know. And so... <laughs> I'm still proud of that. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> not only that, again, between that T, that little dot, and that tile... Got him right between the eyes. Like, yes! <laughs> you don't know! <laughs> you don't know! <laughs> that's right! <laughs> yeah, that's right! <laughs> so when I was done delivering my son after, you know, seven days of labor, um, and then later I got pregnant with my daughter, <laughs> I had forgotten that I could do that, mainly because of my head injury, I'm going to guesstimate at this point, that I could do that. It's like, ooh, what is this? And, and, I, and it wasn't until after getting back to the <laughs> tea, oh wait, I did this. Ah, <gasps> oh, that's right, I, was, I did that when I was praying with James, okay. <laughs> Let me switch it up. Let me see what I can do now, all right. <laughs> Let's see which way I can I can I can I can I do it and just <laughs> again very easily entertained and I still find it funny <laughs> and so you know <laughs> I obviously forgot and and so did he and then you know. One day, hey, <laughs> gotta show you something. Mm. <laughs> it's great just seeing, it's just, it was just great. It was just greatness. And I would guesstimate since I've talked about this with a few females, some of them have tried this and saw how much fun it is. <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> it's not necessarily the most normal thing, but I don't care. You're only pregnant for, you know, however long, and you only got that amount of time, that short amount of time when you got that colostrum. So, you know, you might as well enjoy it while you got it. And <laughs> gotcha. And <laughs> I did. I did that. Mm-hmm. And so, and then, you know, when I was, it actually kind of worked out though, because I mean, I already had, I already had known that my biological mother didn't breastfeed me. She said it was because she couldn't produce any milk and that is what it is. 
nonetheless, it was one of those, well, maybe if I make myself do this, it was, it was multifaceted. It was one of those, well, maybe if I make myself do this, I'll be able to actually produce breast milk for my child. And <laughs> going back to that pumping thing, <laughs> well, neither my son nor my daughter had latched on specifically. They, th th it, there was the attempt, but because I could tell that they were getting frustrated and that is part of it and stuff like that, I get it. But it was one of those, I wanted to make sure that they were healthy. So it wasn't that I didn't want them to, to latch on. It was more along the lines of how can I make sure that they actually get the food that they need and they don't have to fight so much to try to, to actually latch on. And so there were lactation consultants that were available and they did try to work with the situation, but it was one of those, mm, it's, it's better in this regard to make it easier because, you know, fussy and hungry and all that sort of stuff. So it's just, it's just better to, to make it easier in my opinion. That's why, you know, and then no mom that loves their child wants them to be upset and crying and hungry and all that. So, you know, it was just one of those, I'll just use a breast pump and, and be able to do it that way. I also thought that that meant that, you know, my now dead ex-husband, <laughs> would actually be a part and, and be able to assist. No, no, he wasn't interested in that at all. So, okay, whatever it is what it is. So, but it was easier for my son and my daughter to be able to have what they needed. And it did work out where I actually, well, the joke is that I was Bessie the cow <laughs> because I would pump every two hours nine ounces each side every two hours if I went even just five to ten minutes over that two hour time frame another half of a bottle uh, and it would first fill to the brim of that nine ounce bottle because those who know what bottles look like you know that it, you know, goes up to, you know, nine, whatever, nine, 12 ounces, depending on the size. And then you have that kind of curve area, <laughs> fill that all the way to uh, above the curve area, right uh, underneath where the, the connection point was. And, <sighs> and then another, like anywhere between four to six ounces each side. So I was, I mean, I was Bessie the cow as, as absolutely for certainty of just the ridiculous amount of breast milk that I had made naturally. And so I had, um, I had actually had, um, contacted a, um, a company that you could donate breast milk to. And this was... It was shortly after I had gotten out of the hospital. Not at, not meaning after delivering my son, but so my son was born on the second of September. Then there were the events on the eleventh of September, and then and this is in two thousand one, and then he was hospitalized. I was with him in the hospital for a week. And then a couple of weeks later, I wound up being hospitalized because of the infection that had developed from the episiotomy and a few other things <clears throat> and uh, dealing with, you know, my uh, nonetheless, uh, I was hospitalized and after being hospitalized and getting out and being better, um, I just, I was <laughs> producing quite a bit of breast milk and I was afraid that it was going to go to waste. That was the last thing I wanted to happen. I didn't want it to go to waste. And so I found out that there were preemies that could use that. 
So I contacted a company and they had essentially told me that because of the medications I was on and stuff like that, I wasn't able to donate, plus the sterilization aspects to make sure, and I was like, all right, um, okay, that stinks, I mean, you know, you know, I just, I want, I thought that it would be beneficial, so, you know, um, in certain, in certain regards, after that particular phone call and, and being extremely upset, I, I mean, genuinely being upset, I had actually hoped that, and not that, not in a creepy way, I hope this doesn't come across as creepy, though I could see how it would, I kind of hoped that there would be like some sort of like super ninja secretive like guys from military that would be like, well... She technically said it'd be okay. And since there's, you know, these different aspects, not gonna really notice <laughs> a bag or ten of frozen breast milk, you know, going missing. Like, because I just produced that much. And so, and if it had helped, hey, great. <laughs> that's, that's, if it actually genuinely proved to be helpful, awesome. Um, but then, you know, I, I had, you know, when it came to, after delivering my daughter in 2002, you know, it was one of those, wow, <laughs> the entire freezer. <laughs> By the time, so I stopped pumping breast milk. Um, I still did the <laughs> fire aim, uh, sort of, or aim and fire, um, for, oh, I think until she was about a year. So a year's worth of breast milk that I had pumped. My freezer in my house in San Antonio I had enough. My my son and my daughter drank breast milk, essentially, up until they were about. My son was one and a half, two years. No, no, yeah, one and a half to two years old, and my daughter had enough until she was two years old. Of of that, that's how much I had produced, and so. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> I, I have, uh, in that regard, I can make another joke, which I have actually said before, but it was in reference to my cooking. <laughs> uh -huh. um, if you go away hungry, that's your own fault. And <laughs> so it's not a problem. So, at all, N neither one of them had any, any need or worry about that. They always had enough. And so, plus with the way I cook. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to cook small. I, I do not. I do not. So, but yeah, I had so much fun <laughs> in regards to the... <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I, I, that's, that's, you know, most pregnant moms are like, oh, this part is so wonderful. It, it was hot. I was in San Antonio when I was pregnant. <laughs> I delivered my son the 2nd of September and my daughter the 24th of September. I went through the entire summer. It's hot. In San Antonio, Texas, it's hot. <laughs> really, really, really hot. And then I had a essentially an oven right there. I could not, yeah, it was too hot. It was hot. <laughs> very, very hot. It's the state of Texas is hot. <laughs> there is, and, and, and I woke up here after my head injury on Pump Sunday in 2000. That's how I acclimated to the state of Texas is, you know, I had like one summer-ish and, and then I was, pregnant. 
So, you know, I don't deal with cold very well anymore. That might hypothetically have something to do with having woken up in the state of Texas and then, you know, hot flashes when being pregnant. Summertime in San Antonio, Texas. Two years in a row? <laughs> I don't know. Why did I wear five winter coats? When I was in Washington State. <laughs> in the fall, not even the winter. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I did. I actually got extremely thick coats because I was like, so cold. And I'm a smoker. So, you know, at that time I was smoking real cigarettes back and forth between e-cigarettes. And it's just like, oh, it's cold. Like, I can't can't put enough jackets on and it was so cold that I would deal with wearing hoods on my head because those headaches and migraines but the cold was ooh no mm -mm, didn't need to add to that so yeah <laughs> mm-hmm I did I did I I I <laughs> so I look forward to seeing whether or not I can you know, shoot name better <laughs> with actual firearms now. Um, <laughs> you know, after having surfaced from the bottom of the ocean, you know, when scuba diving and dropping down to, you know, certain areas. And so it, it'll be interesting because I know that I, I've always been really, really good with cleaning supplies. I've noticed that when it comes to cleaning supplies, I can literally aim and just right where I'm looking at it. It's like, okay. Same thing when it came to Roundup. <laughs> when I went to go after some weeds, tss, 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 that's right. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't like weeds. Mm -mm. There's an irony there. <laughs> A very different way. Nonetheless, Yup, that's... <laughs> yup, uh, uh, ready, aim, fire. <laughs> that's greatness. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had a, a, a good laugh. <laughs> and so, you know, comment, like, sh share, and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. Have a good one. <laughs>